Welcome back to EDU in 90. ATN Tim here, and this episode is the second in a two-part series focused on unique Chromebook features to help you do even more with your device. Last week, we explored offline mode, looked at how you can search across files, apps, and the web from your device, and checked out a trick for navigating across windows. If you missed it, you can find it linked in the description below. That's right, we're back with more this week and we saved some of the best for last. On this episode, we'll share how to edit Microsoft Office files on a Chromebook, provide simple steps for taking screenshots, and highlight a quick way to enable caps lock. Let's get started. There are more than 90 million educators and students worldwide using G Suite for Education. But we know that our users sometimes need to be able to create and edit other file types, including those from Microsoft Office. As educators, this might be worksheets saved as Microsoft Word files that you want to edit and store in Drive, or a PowerPoint presentation from a teacher at a different school that you'd like to edit and use with your students. Regardless, it's easy to edit Microsoft Office files on your Chromebook. First, find the Microsoft Office file that you want to edit in your Files app. Open the file, and it's automatically ready to edit. And remember, now that you're editing in G Suite, your changes save automatically. Once you're finished, you can either share it as a Microsoft Office file or convert it to a Google Doc, Sheet, or Slide. Sometimes it's the little things that can prove to be powerful. The quick and easy action of taking a screenshot can have a big impact on the way you engage with students in the classroom. We've heard from many of you that screenshots can be leveraged to help display student work and portfolios, keep collections of lessons, or show step-by-step -step instructions for training and professional development. Screenshots on a Chromebook are simple. First, make sure the visual you want to capture is displayed on your screen. Next, press Control plus Show Windows. Remember that everything on screen will be in your screenshot. If you want to screenshot just a portion of your screen, press Control plus Shift plus Show Windows, and then click your mouse over the specific area that you'd like to capture. When the notification appears, click to see your screenshot or find it later in your Files app. Next, Caps Lock. We all know that one person who overuses Caps Lock to try and make their point, but when used correctly, Caps Lock can help grab the attention of your audience and add impact, irony, or even humor to your message. While using Caps Lock on a Chromebook isn't the traditional touch of a pinky finger that you may be used to, it's just as simple to enable. All you need to do is press Search plus Alt on your keyboard, and Caps Lock is automatically turned on. When you're done, pressing the same keys turns Caps Lock back off again. That's all the time we have for this episode. In the comments, tell us if there are other Chromebook features you want to learn about, and stay tuned for more episodes of EDU in 90. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Looking to do more with your Chromebook? Check out our last episode to learn about some features you might not be using just yet.